This is your girl, Renee Angela, bringing you a soulful experience. I am so, so very honored to have a special guest in here to talk about hair. We're going to prep you up with the hair. We're going to pop you up with the hair. It's all going to be about the hair for the next few minutes. I got my girl, Abby, from Regency Beauty Institute to talk about hair. She is the salon ma manager, and she will also talk about what Regency has to offer. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, and thank you so much for inviting me to come. Well, thank you for coming. We love to hear these exciting people coming in and, and educating us here. Let's start things off. Just give us a little bit of background about sure. yourself in the, in the cosmetology in industry and, and what do you do? Okay. <laughs> well, I've been in the beauty industry for about 10 years. Um, I have always had a passion for it, most definitely. I remember being a little girl and playing with my Barbies and doing their hair and changing their clothes. Uh. And that just kind of evolved into doing my friend's nails for homecoming and proms as I got older. All right. Uh, but I never really thought that I would end up pursuing it as I did. Mm -hmm. um, I did traditional college for a few years. And that really just confirmed that I wanted to be in the beauty industry. What were you majoring in when you just went to the traditional route? You know, I was going to be a high school English teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, so still <laughs> the teaching element, yes. which I do love, but definitely nowhere near the beauty industry. All right. So well, when... I don't know. You know, high school now. <laughs> is... Oh, right. <laughs> they like uh, sex in the city <laughs> empowered. Yes, no kidding. <laughs> So once I decided that traditional college was not for me, I made the decision I was going to go to cosmetology school. All right. Um, I actually went part-time at night as I worked full-time as a cosmetics manager for, okay. a, um, for a, a counter. All right. And that was a great experience. I mean, it really tied into my schooling very well. Um, as I pursued getting my cosmetology license, I continued working as the counter manager. Okay. And once I had completed my cosmetology license, I decided I have to have my educator's license. All right. I still wanted that teaching element in yes. there. So um, at that point, I did an additional thousand hours to receive my educator's license. Okay. Um, while I was doing that, I continued to work in the skincare field, and I was an independent hairstylist as well. All right, now. So got lots of different <laughs> aspects. I'm about to say it. extensive <laughs> el elements on the teaching, the uh, makeup, and the, yeah. the skincare, as well as the hair care. So she's just an all-around Renaissance type woman. <laughs> Well, it's just great to be able to tie everything together. Yes. Most definitely. Absolutely. Once I got my educator's license, I was lucky enough to have an educator position came open at Regency Beauty Institute and went and applied and was offered that position. All and right. here we are now. Okay. <laughs> so so did you come uh, from somewhere else to here, to this institute here, or have you just always kind of been in the Champaign-Urbana area? I, yeah, I grew up in Paris, Illinois, okay. actually, but I've lived in Champaign-Urbana for 11, 12 years now. So all, right. all my beauty experience has been here. Okay, <laughs> sounds wonderful. So see, we have a fellow community person. We, we You know, the University of Illinois calls us townies. Yeah. <laughs> so. A fellow townie. <laughs> so that is wonderful. Okay, let's go into hair. Okay. What are the major types of hair? Oh my out gosh, there? there are so many <laughs> different types of hair. And you know, they're each different ethnicity has different types of hair yes. within the ethnicity and there's just so many different elements to it nowadays, and we're really seeing a lot of texture come back. Okay. Natural hair. Yeah. Even um, perms are coming back. Okay. You know, there there's just lots of different types, and that's what really makes our job fun. You know, you never yeah. know who's going to sit down in your chair, and you never know what kind of hair they're going to have mm -hmm. and how you're going to teach them to care for it and how you're going to care for it. Yes. So I think that that's one of the most exciting parts of our industry because that's what makes it always change. Absolutely. So when you're teaching someone about uh, maintenance mm -hmm. in between those salon appointments, what is one of the biggest things that you, you tend to tell people to do? Professional products. There is nothing like <laughs> using professional products. Okay. You know, we have so many guests come into the school that don't know the difference between mm -hmm. an unprofessional product and a professional product. What is the difference? Well, the ingredients for number one. Okay. Um, they're going to be more specialized to the individual product okay. rather than, the, than, than them just having general product mm -hmm. ingredients. So they're actually going to do specific things for the hair type. Okay. So like for, for I don't know, maybe curly hair, sure. what, what kind of uh, product 
ingredient should that person look for that has that kind of curly well you definitely want to avoid too much alcohol content okay. especially with curly hair because too much alcohol is going to make it dry which is going to make it frizzy. frizzy yes so that's one of the major things you know professional products have a lot less alcohol content okay. usually so that that is one reason to definitely continue your care at home okay. with those professional products all and when right we come into the school the students educate our guests on the products, how do you use them, how much do you use, mm -hmm. and yeah, they might be a few dollars more than going and buying an unprofessional product from somewhere, but they'll last much longer because mm -hmm. you use much less. Yes, and, it, and it's generated for your hair care. Exactly. <laughs> for, exactly. For your type of hair. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Um, let's see, what else can I ask? What kind of current trends are you seeing in hairstyles these days? Trends are coming back around. I mean, now we're seeing everything uh, repeats everything itself. Comes back around. That's right. <laughs> it, you know, it's crazy. We're seeing like the high top fades again. Mm -hmm. And um, I think one of the biggest trends right now is the ombre hair color. Okay. And everybody wants the ombre hair color where we fade from a darker to a lighter or vice versa. Okay. I mean, you look on Pinterest, you look on the internet, yes. and that's all that you see. Uh. So I think that that's, that's definitely one thing the students have been practicing on. Okay. And that we see a lot of our guests coming in getting in different versions. Mm -hmm. You know, some people want a very minimal version of it just a very a very minimal fade some mm -hmm. people want like wow we've got black to blonde some people want the you know the crazier color yeah from a pink to a purple we've got some oh, students wow. right now that are working on a project that are trying to do a pink ombre so okay um that's definitely one of one of the more exciting trends going okay. on right now um, as I mentioned, we also see a lot of texture coming back, mm -hmm. um, and that's that can happen through, um, we're doing a lot of locks and twists. Okay, and yes. And, of course, natural hair. A lot of people are going more I, natural de definitely. now. Definitely. I'm seeing that more, and, mm -hmm. and you're seeing actually more of these uh, lesser companies, Revlon or whatever. Oh, yeah. I, I won't say lesser companies, but they're trying to come yeah. out with these these natural hair care yes, uh, yes. supplements for, for the people out there now that's doing the natural hair care mm -hmm. style. So I'm, I'm really glad to see kind of that 70s oh, natural sure. hair yeah, coming and it, and back. It's just much healthier. Yes, you yes. Know, much healthier, healthier than putting all the chemicals on right. your hair when you don't need to. You, know, yes. you can still have beautiful hair without the harsh chemicals. Yeah, I, I remember I, I saw... Um, Chris Rock's good hair. Oh yes, that I'm telling you that documentary traumatized me. Amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. It traumatized me when I saw uh, Chris Rock go to Dudley Institute and mm -hmm. and he had the can. Yes. <laughs> Yes. And they had submerged <laughs> the can into the, the relaxer uh -huh. contents and it disintegrated the can. Yes. And after that, I swear to God, <laughs> it, after it's that, an eye opening. Yes, yes, it traumatized me so much <laughs> that after that, I actually cut my hair oh, off. Wow. And I said, I am never doing a relaxer again. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. did that. That was in that was in 2010 when I did that. Yeah. And then of course I, I um had breast cancer and, and oh. chemotherapy so my, my hair is falling out it's coming back now well you're definitely <laughs> rocking a cute short style well thank and you that's most certainly one of the new trends we're yes. seeing like the shaved sides and you know a lot a lot more people are, are more daring to go short now yeah like, i'm a pro for short hair i love short hair this, my students could tell you that in a heartbeat and they're like miss abby what should i do with my hair cut it off <laughs> wear a cute short style <laughs> yeah. well you know what it opens up the face it, does. it brightens the face it and does. so then you can you you're not hiding behind this yeah. this mask and that's one of the things that i had discovered myself mm -hmm. was that once my hair came off and i and i got over the trauma of my sure. hair coming out of uh chemo and i was just like wow mm -hmm. you know i've got great cheekbones exactly, <laughs> so exactly. I, was, I was in the, in the mirrors every day like wow i got Never great cheekbones yeah. exactly. but it, it was all <laughs> under the hair and a lot <laughs> so. of women too you know when you have shorter hair you can do different colors yes and things like that not that you can't in long hair but you know you can short hair is going to grow and you're going to cut it quicker right so you can change that style more often too with less damage yes yes mm -hmm. absolutely that is great okay so tell me what kind of uh let's see let's let's go to the regency institute okay. let's go from on the student side okay. what do you guys do when you are bringing in a new student and to make them feel comfortable sure. coming into a service industry, a highly yes. demanding service industry. Definitely. I give props. <laughs> you know, I bow down to all hairstylists and barbers oh, out you. there. <laughs> 
because I know what it's like to have to deal with all kinds of different oh attitudes. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes. <laughs> and then and when you're dealing with hair on hair on top of yeah, that, oh that's yeah. probably a whole nother attitude. So. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody you know has a picture in their mind. Yes. And of course, we want to try to create that the best that we can, but it can be challenging yes. at times. And I think that kind of evolves into educating your client, mm -hmm. you know, and talking to them about what you can do, what you can't do, and giving a realistic goal, which is what we work with the students on. Okay. So at Regency Beauty Institute, we have a, a new class start every four weeks, so we continually have new students coming in. All right. Um, it's a nine to 12 month full-time program, so the students come 40 hours a week. Okay. Um, their first eight weeks Just are- Just like a job, y'all. Just like a job, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And their first eight weeks is a training program. So they're in a classroom. They're learning all the hands-on elements. Um, I actually go into that classroom and teach about the performance floor, the salon setting. Okay. And, you know, building their clientele, rebooking. How do you sell that retail? How do you talk to your guests about rebooking and mm -hmm. things like that? Marketing is Marketing, in everything. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yeah. So they are learning hair, skin, and nail care services. Okay. Um, we do... A lot of hair care services, a lot of nail care services, and a lot of skin care services. Okay. So we have a very well-rounded clientele. So when you kind of divide up those those hours uh -huh. um, in that 9 to 12 months period, mm -hmm. how much is it devoted to hair care? How much of it is probably devoted to the skin and the nail care? The majority care? is definitely hair care. Okay. Um, in comparison, like through their learning experiences, mm -hmm. the, they spend much less time learning skin and learning nails. Okay. But in the state of Illinois, a licensed cosmetologist can practice hair, skin, or nail care services. Mm -hmm. So we have to, we're not have to, but we want to give them a glimpse into each different field. Right. So that way they can know what's out there. Yes. And then if they, you know, they choose to pursue maybe skincare or nail care more so, they can take continuing education classes once okay. they're licensed to become more up to date or more versed on those types of things. Wonderful, wonderful. And on the, the consumer side, yeah. what does Regency offer on the consumer side for your clients? We offer just that, hair, skin, and nail care <laughs> services. So, of course, majority hair. We do manicures and pedicures. Yes. We do facials, waxing services, makeup applications, and, okay. of course, all, all the hair care needs. All right. So the students are trained on all different types of hair, and everybody works on everybody. All right. So, you know, when you come in, it's a great experience for the students, and that's what I love about it the most. Mm -hmm. You know, they it, – it's – that so hands refreshing. On. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are just very visual learners. Yes. Now. You know, we can watch uh, a DVD or we can watch something on YouTube right. and, and mimic that, but to just sit and listen to somebody say, this is how you part the hair, that, you know, we don't do that. Yeah. So it's all hands on training. They're up, they're active, they're doing, and they're really getting in there with the guests. Right. Everything, of course, is supervised by our licensed educators. Okay. And there are five other educators besides myself. And we work really well together as a team mm -hmm. to educate the students and walk them through the processes that they need to be successful. Okay. What's your average class size? It really depends on the time of year. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes we'll have maybe a couple students start. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in, like, especially... September, August, after folks Those graduate from high school, yeah, take that, the summer that, off. That traditional yes, calendar. <laughs> yes, exactly. So sometimes, I mean, we'll have classes as large as 30 at, okay. at those points. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. My gosh, so much, guys, out there as far as hair care goes and, and Beauty Institute out there. Let's see. Let's talk some more, just a little bit some more about, about hair. I want to get into some of these different textures sure. uh, and, and ethnicities. What would you recommend mostly for let's say Asians well Asian hair is very straight yeah so you know a lot of a lot of times it's harder to perm mm -hmm. and really put texture into and when so we say, say perm on this side we're to make it curly, curly. yes yes <laughs> so, I'm sorry yes curly so we, perm <laughs> yeah so you know some of us call per relaxers perms yes. as well so yes, we're, we're talking about the curly per <laughs> perms right now <laughs> With Asian hair, you know, I really say embrace how straight it is. You know, you can make it really choppy and PC and mm -hmm. really trendy and edgy. And I say go for it. Yeah. Right. You know, that, that's one of those the things. If you, like if you can not you know, Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they really stand out a lot in that hair texture mm -hmm. just because of the texture of right. it. Right. So embrace it. Don't Super try to fine. fight it. Don't try to hate it. Just embrace it. All right. <laughs> what about, uh, like, uh, redheads? 
<laughs> red, you know, redheads are can be difficult with color. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you really have to balance that natural red with whatever it is they're wanting. Uh-huh. So funny, I had a student that was a natural redhead, and I fought with her for months over not coloring her hair. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's so naturally pretty, and natural red is so hard to recreate. Yes. It, it's almost impossible to recreate. I bet. And she, you know, put some blonde highlights in, and blonde works really well with natural red, mm-hmm. um, but she wanted some pink. Some pink highlights in there and I was like oh my gosh I don't know I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work and she finally did it and it really it it looked nice oh so it's just the balance of figuring out how those colors are gonna play together Mm -hmm. you know you don't want too many tones in there you want them to be somewhat in the same realm if Mm -hmm. you're going for a more natural look yes Um, but again you know in today's hair world Natural is not always what's up. Yes. <laughs> so it, it, it swings back one way and then it swings back the oh, other way. Oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. We um, at the school have a, a competition going on now mm-hmm. um, through our our Wella educator educating group, mm-hmm. and one of the trends that they have is a pastel color combination. Ooh. So pinks and blues and greens in the pastel field. Right so, for the spring. Right for the spring. <laughs> that's right. So with you know with natural red, you just really have to figure out where you're going with it uh-huh. and what you're trying to embrace, either okay. the natural side or not so much. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see. What about those platinum blondes? Oh, my gosh. I can speak for that one. I was platinum for a very long oh. time. See, she's got personal <laughs> experience, guys. <laughs> this is true. And the one thing I can tell you with platinum is you have to take care of your hair. It is... For it will dry out. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Quickly. Um, I had a little bit, like a, a, a little bob when I had a platinum color. Uh-huh. And, you know, I wanted, of course, to be full and big. Yeah. And through, of course, the, the lightning process of getting it to platinum and through back combing and teasing and things like mm-hmm. that, it definitely suffered. Okay. And most certainly, platinums need deep conditioning treatments. We need mm-hmm. to make sure we're caring for our hair. We're not putting too much heat on it. And uh-huh. you know, a lot of people don't think, don't think twice about grabbing the flat iron and setting it on four hundred, right? And you know, doing it through their and hair and not moisturizing. Yes, or, or exactly. even some type of protector exactly. from that. And you have to do that. You have to. So personal experience. If you are a blondie, especially going into summer, if you're getting those highlights, yes. make sure you're caring for your hair. Okay. Um, African American hair, you know, we've got so much. <laughs> it would take a whole segment just to just talk about African American hair. So we're going to talk about a little bit of the basics because, sure. like you said, one of the trends that's moving moving back is this natural yes. hair care. And so some of us, not me anymore, for some reason, I actually did have very curly, uh-huh. you know, those tight curls oh, and yes. you know you let it sit for two days and it's tangled up and tangled oh, yeah. up now my hair is like coming back straight but for those people who have that that kind of texture yes. hair what do you recommend the most for our hair that when they have that tight curl tight curl pattern yes. well if you are insistent upon changing the curl pattern mm-hmm. there is something called a reformation curl Oh. And basically, we relax the hair partially, and mm-hmm. then we, we do a curly perm on it okay. to change the curl pattern. So taking a tighter, kinky curl to mm-hmm. a larger curl. Oh. So you can still have that curl pattern yes. and, it, and you know, still embrace it, but mm-hmm. much easier to maintain. You know, as you mentioned, tighter curls do get tangled yes. very, very, very easily. Yes. So I would most definitely say maintain the hair. Mm-hmm. Take care of it at night. What, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to wrap it up? Yes. Um, are, are you going to care for it by using a deep conditioner? Um, are you going to come in regularly and get those deep conditioning treatments right. and get that salon care? I, you know, I if it was me with, with tight curls, I would definitely come in and get mm-hmm. that salon care because it is very hard to do yourself. Yes. And we do offer um, one of the great deals that we have at Regency is a $9 shampoo flat iron. Oh, my goodness. So we do see a lot of girls with that really tight curl pattern. And mm-hmm. I always feel so bad sometimes we have kids come in and, they, you know, their hair is so tangled because of it, like yes. you said. and. Definitely, you have to care for it at home Absolutely. to make sure that doesn't happen. How often do uh, people should get, you know, hot oil treatments or deep conditioning treatments? Depending upon their hair type, 
I would say every two weeks to every month. Okay. Most definitely. And when we do them at the school or in a salon setting, we put them under the dryer. Mm -hmm. And so that heat really makes the product go down deeper inside of the hair, oh, yes. which is, is much better for it. Right. Of course, maintaining that at home is important, too. Um, when I do mine at home, I always throw a, a towel in the dryer mm -hmm. and let it get really nice and warm, put a shower cap on my head, wrap yes. that towel around it. So I do it's the, the same, same thing. type of effect, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, for for uh, relaxed hair, mm -hmm. perm relaxed hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What is one of the, the, the challenges for that? Because, like you said, a lot of times with ethnicities, mm -hmm. our, our hair is not naturally straight. Sure. So we're putting a lot of these chemicals yes. on it. What do you recommend for that, that style? Yes, same, same deal. You With relaxed hair, you have to maintain it. You have to condition it, get your retouches regularly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you let it grow out too long between your retouches, it can be damaging to the hair as well. Yes. Getting it trimmed regularly also. Okay. You know, I see a lot of people come in that I ask, when was the last time you had a trim? Oh, maybe a year ago. Don't do that. You know, every four to six to eight weeks, depending upon your hair yes. texture and type and length, of course. You know, I could get mine cut every two weeks, I yes. think. And, you know, but everybody's different in that aspect. And keeping those split ends off will help the hair to grow healthier, which oh, is something yes. a lot of people don't realize. You know, they just want to let it grow to get the length. Right. But it's not going to continue to grow at a rapid rate when it's unhealthy like that. Yes. So another challenge we see with relaxed hair is, is people wanting color mm -hmm. also. And when you've got relaxed hair, you have to be very careful with the types of colors that you use in your hair. Okay. You know, you've got color, you've got your relaxer in, and then we have people that want to come in and put bleach highlights in, mm -hmm. and that's an awful combination. Oh, you know, you've goodness. got two very, very harsh chemicals there. Right. So, um, I can't again, imagine the bleach mixing with the harsh oh, chemicals yes. in a relaxer. Yes, and that's something we really educate the guests and the and the students on. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure they understand. Hey, it's not that we don't want to do this for you. This is what could potentially happen, and of course, we don't want that. Yes. So definitely. you know, that's where sew-ins and things like that come in, where you can put a quick pop of color in your hair, mm -hmm. and you can take it out in a couple weeks. Now, do you no guys damage. do like like sew-in um, yes. weaves and? <laughs> we sure do. We charge fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, for sew-in, the guests do have to come. Come in for a consultation first mm -hmm. and provide all of the materials to so the hair, the needles, and all that. But okay. that is part of the program. Um, it is a lengthier service at yes, our school because, absolutely. of course, they're learning. Um, but it is something we provide most definitely. We've got right. several students that do amazing sew-ins. Okay. So, see, there you go. See, now you can get your weave mm -hmm. <laughs> and your, and your do-done. That's right. <laughs> at Regency, as well as your nails and your skin. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts? I appreciate you inviting me here today, and I would love everybody to come out to Regency Beauty Institute to yes. see us. We're located right behind Target, and all of our prices are discounted because we are a school. Yes, definitely. One final question. What do you foresee in the future of beauty industry? Oh, my gosh. I think the future possibilities are endless. Ah, yes. Definitely. That's, again, one of the most creative parts of our job is coming up with new trends. Yes. And that's what keeps it interesting. That innovative, uh, visionary. Yes. Forever changing. Forever changing industry. That is wonderful. And that's what we are talking about. Evolution. Because hair is one of those evolutionary processes that even can make you feel good on the inside as well as look good on the outside. Abby, mm -hmm. thank you so thank much you. for coming in. Thank you. And we are enjoying that. You are listening to 90.1 FM WEFT.